Hi guys and welcome to it's day 44 I can't believe it day 44 of 366 and it is also what is it the 13th of February <laughs> And so tomorrow is Valentine's Day, but today is Monday. And I just wanted to talk to you about honesty today. Um, I've had lots of phone calls and emails and text messages today from people wanting to find out the truth about um, a situation that occurred. And I've had a lot of people try and tell other people um, that I have been saying or doing things which I haven't been doing or saying. And they've been telling me what's been happening. And I find it really interesting because people that know me know that I guess truth is one of the most important things to me. And if I've said something, I will tell you I've said it. If you ask me and I've said it, I will say it. And when, the per when one person has said something to me and another person goes back to them and says did I say this and they tell them yes and this is what it was and it was all open and honest and there between me and that person and that person and the new person and we all got the same information for that third person to then say I'm lying um, <laughs> it's just you know dumb and laughable and I have learnt so much over the last six to 12 months about communication and how to communicate effectively and how to deal with people and the manipulation and lying that just goes on and even like I know this sounds really weird but do you remember when you were at high school and you were in a group of friends and you just wanted everyone to love you I'm not in that I don't do schoolyard stuff I don't hack people's accounts I don't tell people stuff that's not true I don't um, I don't tell somebody that I didn't say something when I did and I just find it really interesting how people that are new to my world have thought that they could tell people that have known me for a long time that I do and it, you know I know that most of you know that I've had a, you know I've gone through a lot growing up in the fact that my perception was a little bit skewy and so things that were abusive in some ways I either thought wasn't that abusive because I was used to it or I've thought that was so abusive it's ridiculous you know um, back in the old days if you got in trouble you used to get belted with the strap and for us we used to get belted with the buckle end so you know flick around and the buckle would hit you now to me i used to think that wasn't that bad because that's all i knew and then i met people who said oh my god i can't believe that happened to you that is so bad that's such bad so i know in the past my perception has been a bit skewed but I've been working on that and the reason I've been working on that is I don't want to live all day every day going now did I say that and who did I say that to and why did I say that to and why am I getting upset um, and I think <laughs> you know I think in this day and age if you can't communicate to people then you're in for a whole world of trouble so my sharing to you today is an act of love I'm telling you that today you need to learn how to communicate effectively to people. You need to be able to say to a person, when they've upset you, I'm sorry, but that has upset me. Can you please not do it again? Then if they do it again, then you can say, well, I'm choosing. I've asked you not to. You've continued to do so. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to walk away. And I guess this is really difficult for a lot of people. They're so used to game playing and they're so used to, oh, we can just do whatever we want because they'll be back. Or, you know, we manipulated them in the past, we'll be able to manipulate them again. And I don't play that. And if I get told you're not needed, I just walk. <laughs> well, if you don't need me and you don't want me, why am I here? So I'll go. And, um, 
I had somebody who doesn't know the law try and tell me that I was um, doing something illegal and I I don't know I wasn't as a photographer and a videographer if I take a photo or a video I own that and I have a right to do what I want with it and if I choose to use it or choose not to use it, it's my discretion. If I take a photo and I don't like it for some reason because I think it's a bad photo, I won't use it. And um, if you think that because you're in it, that you own it, you're mistaking. Um, there, if you go and pay a photographer to have your photo taken and you pay for a copy, you've paid for a copy but you haven't bought the ownership rights and I know that myself I just paid an awesome photographer you know um, for photos and you know I've got to pay it off because it's just so much money but they're stunning shots and her art needs to be rewarded for that so I pay her to have a photo but she still retains ownership and right over that photo. And if 10 down, years down the track, she decides to put my photo on her studio wall, I've got no say in that because it's her photo. And I think that's what's really weird is nowadays people's perception of what they own and what they can and can't do is just so distorted. You know, um, if someone is in the background of a photo because they've walked past when the photo got taken, that's called an incidental and you know pretty much they've got no rights and that's probably a bit hard for some people to take so my message to you today in this month of love to share my heart space with you guys is to learn to communicate learn to be very clear and direct don't play games if your yes is yes say yes if your no is no say no if you're undecided don't say maybe because that could be yes or no, say I'm undecided. Be very clear in your communications. Be very much open in what you're saying. And if you don't want to tell them the truth, just say I'd rather not comment on that right now. If you know that comment, if you know what you would say would hurt them and you don't want to say it, just say I'd rather not comment on that right now or I don't have opinion right now. And then when you feel that it's right, then you can give it to them. But you know sometimes people pretend to be somebody they're not and the truth always comes out so might as well be truthful in the first place so I'm gonna go I've had a really long weekend and I've had a really long day today like now is the quietest my house has been for hours I've had so many text messages and phone calls and and, and emails from people wanting to know where they stand with me and what I will and won't do. Um, one girl thought I would not give a footage, piece of footage, that I wouldn't edit it and make it available to her and I know she worked really hard on it and I was never ever ever not going to give her something for that. Um, so I re-edited it so that she could have it and there's another girl who I would have re-edited her piece but she was quite rude to me and hasn't spoken to me since. If she had just said I'd like a copy of mine as well. I'd re-edit it and give it, well, I haven't even edited it yet. I would edit it up for her and give it to her. And um, one of the other girls, well, two girls and a guy actually said, yes, you can use my photo. So I've used their photo. So I don't see the point in putting up photograph or footage of somebody who has an issue with me, um, purely because I don't need the drama. I can just not use that. Um, I can blow you out if I need to and I want to use that piece of footage so I don't see the point I mean I own it and I can put it up but what's the point it's not you know it doesn't create clear open loving communication lines it just causes drama and I'm not into drama so have an awesome awesome day and I will see you tomorrow and to ah oh, I might not see you tomorrow tomorrow is Tuesday, 14th of February. All right, I will have to see you tomorrow, but only for a little bit. It's my sister's birthday. Yep. So um, I'll see you for a little bit tomorrow. All right, bye.